Coming up next, the Hyundai Palisade. Hi, Mark Savage here, Savage on Wheels. We've got the new 2023 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. This is the top of the line, so you know it's loaded with all sorts of goodies. They've restyled it just a little bit, kind of a freshened look to the thing. Uh, again, Paul, massive Sketched grill. Massive grill. I kind of like this as kind of a brushed metal look to this one, though. It's not like all sh as shiny as a lot of them are. Uh, you got, of course, you got the big H in there. A lot of people either love or hate these little lights down here, that, yeah. that, but I think it looks they sharp. They look cool at night. I think it looks really cool at night, too. Obviously, your turn signals and everything here. Uh, there's enough chrome on it to kind of brighten it up a little bit. This is called, what did I tell you? Caligari? Moon, moonlight oh. Cloud. It's moonlight Cloud. We're still trying. It looks a little bluish. Uh -huh. I think that's what they mean, but Moonlight and Clouds both are white to me, so I'm yeah, who knows? by the name. But uh, this is a three-row mid-size SUV. You might as well show the power. There's the power hatch here that goes up. Uh, I had a little something dirty in here. Sorry about that. Uh, we got power buttons back here, Paul. I don't know if you can see those. Yep. Uh, this comes all the way back, and then we can put it all the way down. It automatically does its magic. So we have a lot of storage space if you got the third row out of here. There's actually not, it's not bad. A lot of the three rows have about this much space in back. This is nearly double that. So you got a little extra room there. Spare tire is down underneath. We just figured that out. Uh, let's get this back up here and I'll show you how much room once we get inside. We got 12 volt power outlet back here. And uh, I mean, this is a really, I think, kind of feels like a high end luxury vehicle when you're inside it. Let's take a look inside, Paul. And you know, this is, uh, they call it Napa leather. I don't know uh, what makes it Napa, but nonetheless, it, it didn't come from Napa. We got, <laughs> a, we got a sunshade here. We can pull up, that's always nice. And here's the cool feature that I believe both Kia and Hyundai have. This is Hyundai. You press a button here or on the side, look at that. It not only kind of slides forward a little bit, the back goes forward, so us old guys can crawl in the back. And I think, all things considered, let's pull this back as far as we can. There we go. I still, I know Paul, you probably can't see, but uh, if you want to hand me the camera, I can actually show <laughs> how much foot space I got back here. There we go. I can put my feet underneath there. I actually have knee room, and that's not a usual in the uh, third row of a lot of the three-row vehicles. We also got the captain's chair, so we got the fold-down armrest there. And we got the big second sunroof up here, so that's nice also. So a three-row vehicle, if you don't get the captain's chairs, it will seat eight. Uh, if you do get that, obviously we're only going to seat seven. So we're inside the Palisade now. Uh, Paul and I were both saying it's so bright in here. It feels really nice. This uh, kind of a cream Bright colored, and airy. Yeah, kind of creamy grayish interior with the, uh, we think it's fake wood trim, <laughs> but we'll have to double check that. But nonetheless, it, but it looks good and it feels good actually. It feels we're not like in it, a Bentley. No, so but it feels like there's a it, little yeah, texture to it. Yeah. One of the things I love about Hyundai is this. Big, at, yeah. big, big, easy buttons. If I want map, nav, radio, I can push this button, and well, here we'll see it. It'll light up the screen here. We'll turn the sound down a little bit, but boom, it's big. It's easy. That's all easy. Yeah, yeah your climate controls are down here, so it's easy enough. This yep, is just you can see up everything. and down. Yeah, boom, like that. Well, I know you like it cold, so we'll turn it down. Uh, a little bit. I think I gotta have it down a little bit. Well, you, there it'll, we go. Be, it'll be real cold. There now. we go. There we go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you're transmission is a push button. That's so, kind of funky. It's kind of funky, but, and, and I, and because this is here, I keep reaching over here to shift, but you got five modes. Snow, which we will need later in the year. Eco, which you'll probably never use. Comfort, which, <laughs> comfort, which is normal. Sport, sport, which is, I'd always have it on. Yeah, you can have it on sport, and it does, it, it accelerates better with the sport mode on, and then smart kind of helps you decide what you, how you like to drive, it learns over time. So that's oh, cool. it's got hill descent on it. Hill descent, we got, uh, you know, we can turn the uh, stop start on yeah, and off, which we'll do that right now. Cooled seats, heated seats, heated wheel, same Is here. This, uh, and there's heated and cooled oh. seats in the back, and we can lock the diff, right? So, so it would be all wheel drive then. It's about, yeah, it's about uh, uh, eight inches of uh, ground clearance. So not yeah. that not that I think you're gonna take this off-road much, but at least if you do go off-road a right. little bit, you're not gonna be scraping the bottom. 
Uh, not a flat bottom wheel, but I didn't expect that in this. A nice big thick leather wheel. Uh, easy controls there. A good looking digital dash here. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. We got two memory buttons over here for the seats. And, uh, you know, fancy covers on this is another of the Harman Kardon stereos in here. So I'm sure that uh, sounds great. And uh, we got a charger down in here, wireless charger. That's easy. Put the phone right in there. In fact, I'll do that right now. We'll show you that it starts to charge up. All right, give it a second. Or <laughs> it always has before. Of course not now. Yeah. All right. Well, it does do it. I, I, here, let's turn that maybe. Oh, that. there we go. There we go. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll stick this back in here. All right. And uh, again, three rows of seats. Room for seven in here right now. Eight if you don't get those captain's chairs. All right. Taking this for a spin and. Paul, I mean, it's super quiet in here, man. It is. It's a very quiet vehicle, and uh, I drove this a little bit on the highway earlier with some other folks in it, and everyone was amazed at how quiet it is in this. Nice, smooth ride. Of course, a long wheelbase, that helps a lot. Uh, 3.8 liter V6 in here. That's the only engine that uh, Hyundai offers for this. No hybrids yet. Uh, you know, that's got to be coming soon. And. Uh, 291 horsepower, so dang on mm -hmm. near, three, near 300 horsepower. Yep. That ain't bad. And uh, you know, like I say, I can put it in the in the sport mode, and it, it gives it a little more instant acceleration. The one thing I've noticed about the engine is that when you're sitting still and you get on the gas, there's just a little hesitation there, mm -hmm. more than I would expect. Something really what you would probably expect in a turbo, but there is no turbo. So anyway, uh, nice vehicle, handles nice. I mean, you know, is it a sports car? Of course not. No, but you know, here I am, just it's a giving, people hauler, just giving it a little bit of a move on on the wheel, and it's and it responds. It's not. Uh, it has a little teeny lean in the turns if you go really fast, but again, this is a highway hauler. Uh, this is you know for soccer for any kids going to any kind of athletic practice and taking on the half the neighborhood with you, uh, going on a long trip. This is a, a real happy people mover. Paul, what do we got here? We got all kinds of feathered stuff today. All sorts of feathered friends. There's some sandhill cranes, four of them. I always like them. They sound like uh, pterodactyls when they're squawking as they fly. In a ritzy neighborhood, <laughs> in a ritzy neighborhood in uh, rural uh, Wisconsin, just outside of Milwaukee, we got chickens running around in the yard over here. I'm not sure. Apparently, what? I guess that's okay. Yeah. So this thing is loaded up, Paul, uh, and obviously this is the top of the line, but you know, our experience has been that most of the Hyundais and Kias are really pretty well equipped and loaded with uh, safety equipment and all the bells and whistles, and, and a lot of the other brands, you're adding those on in various packages and trim levels. Uh, yeah, like like my 2017 Durango, that, you know, I mean, to have, add all this stuff on? Yeah. Would have probably been another five. You no, know, maybe not five grand. I mean, it's a 2017. Yeah. But it. I mean, that now, was. Now four, it would be. That was. Yeah. That was 42 new. Yeah. So that'd be 50 or so now. And this, yeah. This is 52. But and I'm not. I don't know that the Durango would have had that all that. Right. I'm not making fun of your Durango, but nope. this is an awfully nice interior compared it is. to most of the other cars that we drive. It is. Yeah. It's really nice. Maybe the Grand Cherokee L is a little nicer, but that's going to be more expensive. Yeah, that's going to be more expensive. I and mean, this is really competing with like the, the Honda Pilot, the Pathfinder from Nissan, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you know I, I don't, and the Highlander from Toyota. I think those are its main competitors, plus obviously the Kia version of this, which right. is the Telluride. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a lot of value and... I don't know what else you're going to get that has all of this on it at the price that, that you yeah, probably Yeah, it's going pay. to be tough. Yeah. So, five trim levels on the Palisade. This is the top of the line calligraphy, so it's about 50000 to start, 52 with with one little option on it. So it comes pretty much fully loaded. You can start at about 30, 
6,000, but 38,000 if you want all-wheel drive. So 38,000 all-wheel drive, seats eight at that point, because you're not going to have the fancy seats yet. Uh, and there's a new XRT version that's kind of blacked out, trim and all that kind of stuff, which seems to be super popular these days. But I think high value, not that it's cheap, but high value for what, what you're, you know, you're, you're paying for this. Many of these kind of vehicles, you're going to pay $55,000, $60,000. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.